Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am super excited because this is going to be my first Halloween related video of the year and I'm super excited to have it be a makeup tutorial. I'm going back to my roots. I've been on YouTube for over four years and if you guys have followed me from the very beginning back in like 2016, 2017, you know this channel actually started off as strictly a makeup channel. It was called Tori's Makeup Box. It's just crazy to see how much I've improved in the years. I actually did this look last year and I was just kind of playing around with makeup. I didn't record it or nothing because it was my first time trying it and I didn't think it was going to turn out good but I actually ended up loving how it turned out so I would love to make a tutorial for you guys and honestly this is just a dope makeup look that makes it look like you put a lot of effort in and it's actually not that hard if you break it down step by step and it does require no special effects or no liquid latex or anything like that so now that we have a fresh base to start with i'm gonna go right into the eye makeup you can start with your foundation and all that if you prefer that i'm actually not a big foundation person so i'm gonna be skipping out on mainly all of that i'm gonna be doing a little bit of concealing but that's really about it for my face for this eye look you're just gonna need any palette that has blacks grays and anything to really create any type of smoky eye so i'm going to be switching between the bh studio pro ultimate neutrals and the james charles palette starting off by prepping my eyes with the nyx concealer this is in the shade porcelain and it's super full coverage i feel like lots of makeup tutorials can tend to skip some little details that would be common sense to someone that does makeup every day but for a beginner that's just trying to do this look for a one-time occasion like halloween or a party or something now that we are all primed i feel like smoky eyes can be a very difficult thing to achieve and it's very tedious so i'm gonna be starting with the bh pro palette so that we can get a nice blend first i'm gonna go in with this light brown shade up here which i know for a smoky eye you stay around cool tones and not warm tones My cat's be wrecking it up. I'm just putting a warmer tone in my crease so that when it's like up here, um, it kind of looks like it's fading into my natural skin tone, if that like, makes sense. I'm using a fluffy brush for this, and a tip for blending is to hold the makeup brush towards the end so that you have a lot more circulation and movement rather than being super up close and like tense, you really have no blending motion. I'm going to be going in with that black shade very, very lightly. This is personally how I like to do my makeup. I know lots of people like to slowly work their way, but once I have a base crease in there, I go right in. Since there's no grays in this palette, that's what I'm kind of going to be going for here. Once the black shade is blended out to almost look gray, we're now going to go in with a very tightly compact brush. So one like this. And I'm going to be going right into that black shade, picking up as much as I can on my brush. Start closer to your lash line and then work your way out. I'm going to be taking that concealer brush and just cleaning up where my eyeshadow stops just to give it more of a crisp sharp look both of our eyes are cut and fully blended we're going to be looking a little crazy until the final result so now we're going to go start tracing in our spider legs using a white elf liner pencil it's a lot easier to get rid of any marks or mistakes and it won't really mess up the makeup so i'm definitely going to be going off of my old inspo pick for this i would definitely have a picture close by just because you want to get the angle of the legs right and i'm not going to be going all the way into my eyelid because this is kind of going to be like the body of the spider we're going to go in and darken up my eyelid a little later I'm going to be taking a liquid liner because that's what I'm most comfortable with, that's what I prefer working with, it's what I work best with, but if you prefer felt tip or even pencil, that's fine. I feel like a liquid is probably preferred because it's a lot darker, but um, you can do whatever works best. Okay, we got one leg on. <laughs> After a good almost 30 minutes perfecting these spider legs, I'm finally happy with how they turned out. 
I messed up plenty of times, so definitely take your time with this. I did decide to go a little off the tracing. The tracing was just kind of a guideline of where the legs are going to go. But as far as the shape and the length, I kind of just took it upon the liner. And that is this eye all complete. Thank God we're not going to be doing it on this eye. You guys totally can if you want. I've seen some pictures of people doing that, but that's just not what I'm going to be doing for today. Taking the same e.l.f. liner pencil but in black, I'm going to be lining my waterline. I feel like this adds a lot of depth to the eyes and really darkens them up. The next part is going to be shadowing the legs. Basically, we're going to be creating a like smokier line under or right next to the legs to kind of make it look like 3 To make these shadows look more believable, you want to kind of have a way that the light would be shining on it. So for this curved leg, if it's shining like straight on it, it obviously won't show the curve, if that makes sense. I don't really know how to explain it. To make this look the most believable, make sure you're doing your shadows correctly. So for this line right here, I'm not going to put the shadow behind it. I'm going to put it like right in front of it because that's how all the other shadows are. We're going to be doing just a little bit of highlighting, so on any high points of the leg, so like if you have a bend, just put it right in the middle just to give more dimension. That is basically the spider all complete. I really, really love how it turned out so far. I'm going to pop on some lashes off camera and then I will be back to finish the final look. Lashes are on, really happy with how this is coming together, but now on this side, I'm going to add just a little hanging spider over here. I'm also going to add like two white eyes with the liner. If you are going to be wearing this look out to a party, make sure you spray it down with some setting spray so it stays all night and doesn't smudge. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on all my post notifications so you get a notification in your Dropbox every time I upload a video. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so, so much and bye guys.